minus 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, plus 5 seconds. Lift off normal P1 Here tracking. Here we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. Prajolan or Safalta Poon Uthapan LBM 3 M4 rocket ka. Yo beam ka rocket. Asman ko chirte huye. Apni bhayak dahar se charo or kampan notpan kar raha hai. Isse hum yaha mehsoos kar sakte hai. Aur yehi dahar hai jo vajyaniko ko romanchit karti hai. LVM-3 के उत्थापन के साथ ही हमारे अंतरिक्ष यान चंद्रयान-3 की चंद्रमा की यात्रा प्रारंभ हो चुकी है। As the rocket is soaring through the clear skies, every second moving closer to the accomplishment of the most important milestone in its mission to moon. Every Indian witnessing the launch live is content with the feeling of watching history in the making. चंद्रमा की सतह पर अपना छाप छोड़ने के लिए चंद्रयान थ्री अपने मिशन को पूरा करने निकल चुका है वर्तमान में दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड स्टेप ऑन बूस्टर सामान निष्पादन करते हुए अपनी निर्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं एस टू हंड्रेड मोटर्स ट्रस्टिंग साइमल्टेनियसली जनरेटिंग ट्रस्ट ऑफ क्लोज टू सिक्स थाउजेंड किलो न्यूटन इन वैक्यूम दिड ऑफ एच सॉलिड प्रोपलेंट 204.5 tons in each strap on close to 2 tons of propellant being burnt each second s200 strap on boosters ka full turn stage ignited prajwalan kal 126 second ka hai aur abhi abhi koshna ki gayi l110 stage ka bhi prajwalan shuru ho chuka hai apart from the strap on performance normal the core stage has also commenced its operation. This stage, based on combination 200 stages are separated. of hypergolic earth storable Post liquid propellants UH25 and N204. Now the S200s have been separated. Payload fairing separated. Yeah, payload fairing ko prithak kar diya gaya hai yaan se kyoki yaan ab 114.8 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई प्राप्त कर चुका है इस चरण का कुल प्रज्वलन काल 200 सेकंड होता है और इस दौरान यह करीब 1600 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न करता है वी आर 220 सेकंड पास्ट द लॉन्च टाइम करंट ऑल्टीट्यूड इज 135 किलोमीटर्स इन द 200 सेकंड्स ऑफ इट्स ऑपरेशन द एल 110 स्टेज कैरीज द रॉकेट up to 175.5 kilometers altitude and imparts a relative velocity of 4.18 kilometers per second that is 250 kilometers every minute l 110 stage performance normal lvm3 m4 rocket ka dvitiya charan purnata samanya nishpadan karte hue इस चरण में कुल 113 टन के तरल नोदक भरे जाते हैं एन टू तथा यू एच अर्थ स्टोरेबल प्रॉपलेंट को ईंधन के रूप में प्रयोग किया जाता है इस चरण में स्टेज इग्निशन इज ऑथराइज अगला चरण C25 का प्रज्वलन भावी है प्लस फाइव मिनट्स वन टन स्टेज थ्रस्ट कट ऑफ एंड सेपरेटेड C25 इग्निशन कमांड 25 इग्निशन कंफर्म that's a piece of really good news that the third stage has started its operation the C25 stage has been ignited जी हाँ एक बहुत ही जटिल प्रक्रिया होती है क्रायो इंजन का इग्निशन और 
इसके प्रज्वलन के साथ ही तालियों की गड़गड़ाहट से गूंज उठा है मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष जी हाँ कुछ क्षणों में हम देखेंगे तृतीय चरण एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर रॉकेट का चंद्रयान को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर ले जा रहा है और उद्दिष्ट कक्षा प्राप्त होते ही और उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त होते ही चंद्रयान थ्री को अंतक्षेपित कर दिया जाएगा अभी अभी पुष्टि की गई चंद्रयान चंद्रयान थ्री को प्रमोचन की कक्षा प्राप्त कर ली गई है चंद्रयान थ्री को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है इलेक्ट्रिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट पर चंद्रयान थ्री हैज अटीन द मेजर माइल स्टोन सक्सेसफुली चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन अकम्पलिश हैंडिंग ओवर टू मिशन डायरेक्टर मिशन डायरेक्टर द एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर चंद्रयान मिशन अकम्पलिश इट्स प्रसाइज सैटेलाइट इंजेक्शन कंडीशन एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर मिशन इज सक्सेसफुल The launch has also added a feather in the cap of LVM3 rocket. You can watch the jubilee and congratulatory gestures of its crew scientists in the mission control center. जी हाँ चंद्रयान को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है लेकिन चंद्रयान थ्री की यात्रा अभी जारी है अब इस मिशन के बारे में हम अध्यक्ष महोदय से सुनेंगे और हम आपसे आज्ञा लेते हैं We sign off. Up next is address by Secretary DOS Chair Ministro. Thank you, sir. honorable minister of state for science and technology and departments of space and atomic energy uh, dr jitendra singh respected uh, chairman isro and secretary departments and of space former secretaries of the department invited dignitaries respected uh, dignitaries and invitees i am very happy to report here that the lvm3 m4 vehicle has injected the chandrayaan 3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit uh, and once again the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of indian space research organization congratulations to the team work of isro family uh, i would like to appraise three things here the vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement especially in the uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable secondly the payload also capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches we are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands here so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle for example the s200 nozzle they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% ndt and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed the l100 and stage vikas engine mostly it is uh, 100% qualified to be the human rated engine with uh, indigenously developed let throats and the pocket uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system uh, and the c20 <laughs> c20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly uh, 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 actually <laughs> good, good. so we will we yeah. will describe all those details later ah, because of shortage of time yes, sir i take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh because <laughs> mission executives for all the support all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch once the la launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified really this is a penance of so many across the isro centers 
our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC, and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners, major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems, and our own GOCO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pranams for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Sri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team ISRO, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, Sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen. And today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities, living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. <laughs> and before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st century. Thank you and congratulations once again. <laughs>